guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to a new vlog it's been a minute since I've uploaded anything on YouTube but yeah life's just been a bit busy um, still trying to you know find my groove between all the things that I'm juggling in this season so um, yeah, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick up the vlogging camera this week. I want to film a like June favorites video for YouTube as well. So it is Monday. I actually don't even know what day. Oh, it's the 20th because yesterday was Father's Day. Okay, there we go. Anyway, it's a really nice day. It's a little bit cooler than it has been lately here this morning, hence why I have a sweatshirt on. Over the weekend, we went to a really lovely garden center over by uh, where we used to live called Church Crookham. And we, um, well, the little town is called Church Crookham, but the garden center is called Redfields, just in case you're in the area. It is amazing. They had such an incredible selection of indoor and outdoor plants. Um, John really wants to grow some herbs. If you're British, you probably like herbs. Um, John always gets triggered by how I say herbs, which is how we say it in the States, but here they say herbs. Um, so anyways, he's been wanting to grow some herbs or herbs and um, they have an incredible selection and they had this little like, um, herb trough so we got that um, and we got a bunch of like flowering plants and some things for our ladder shelf out in the garden so i actually have to pot everything today because um we got so many things we actually haven't gotten the herbs yet um because john was like i'm just gonna get the trough and then we'll come back and get the herbs um but we got such a beautiful selection of flowers and i'm excited to get those all potted today um let me show you what we got Look, little chips. Hey, sweetie. Hey, little chips. Yeah. Just do that here, man. <laughs> <laughs> we're not being a real way. Hey, sweetie. All right. So here's where we're at to start. Um, this is the ladder shelf that we got. I shared it on Instagram the other day, but I'll link it down below in the description box. It's by, uh, or it's from this place called Cox and Cox here in the UK, which is an incredible home decor retailer. Although I will say they're a bit expensive. They always have 20% off, which is good. Um, so yeah, anyway, the ladder shelf is gorgeous and I thought it would be a really nice, um, little addition to the garden to put some potted plants and flowers. And then this is the herb, um, trough. We're going to kind of use the bottom for storage, um, for different pots and things, but yeah, so we'll put, um, eight different herbs here. The ones that we kind of use the most. Um, and then we've got the big green egg and this is our little garden situation going on over here i want to get some lights to kind of string along out here i think the white company has a sale going on right now um and they have um a thing of string lights so um yesterday we went to a garden center close to marlow because that's where we went for father's day lunch that's not far from us um here in windsor so got these gals they're a bit shorter in height i went a little bit overboard with the ones that are a bit taller in height but those are the ones that all just kind of stood out to me um, and just kind of gave me a good feeling. I really love the overall like colors and tones that we have going on out here. Um, just makes me feel good. I feel like this area has been um, long ignored <laughs> because of the winter time. We never wanted to spend a lot of time out here. So it's nice to kind of spend some time making it feel nice and lovely um, during the little bit of time during the year that we can enjoy it. Um, but yeah, this morning I'm gonna get these repotted and styled a bit. These hydrangeas need a lot more water than they've been given. And I need to find a different pot because this one's not gonna be good for outside. But I love these pots and these like more gray toned um, pots for out here. I think it all looks really, really nice together. So yeah, this is the beginning of our our gardening venture. If you have any gardening tips, especially ones that are in pots versus in the actual ground, leave them below. I would love to hear. We were even um, kind of looking up some things that um, we didn't really know anything about. Like I think John was saying uh, we need to get soil, and this is from somebody at Redfields. We need to get soil that is like has a reduced peat amount, which I had to look up what peat is. <laughs> so anyway, any gardening tips, especially for beginners, let me know. And shockingly, I actually have a tip. Um, I downloaded this app called Planta um, that 
kind of makes it easy, especially for beginners, to stay on top of your garden maintenance and your plant and flower needs. Um, it kind of puts it all in one place. You can basically um, take photos of all of your your plants and your flowers, herbs, everything, and put them into the app. And you can kind of tell the app like what area of your home they're in, whether it's outside on a balcony or in a garden or in the bathroom or whatever. And it analyzes based on like how much light, if they've been repotted, when the last time they were watered, it gives you kind of like a to-do list each day for all the plants that you have in your home. So it's pretty nifty. Um, it's not free, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, so I think I went ahead and paid for the, um, the annual fee because you save money that way um, but it'll be helpful in letting me know like when I need to repot them um, what kind of soil and plant food they need and things like that so anyway I'll link the planta app down below it's not sponsored I just came across it and um, have found it to be helpful so far so anyway I'm gonna get started on getting these replanted so I can get on with my day So as you saw, I got a few of the plants potted down here. I just did the ones here on the bottom and then this little guy right here on the shelf. But I actually, um, <laughs> when I was done filming the intro, uh, when I was saying that I was about to get started on the gardening, I was like, I need to eat breakfast. So I had some cereal. I got to perusing my emails as I was doing that. And then I saw that the rug that I've been wanting to buy for our lounge is on sale. So I did the measuring for that and I got that ordered. So I got a little distracted. So I used up some of the time that I had for gardening um, today. And so I'm not gonna be able to get to these up here, um, but I did give them all a really good water and I will get started on doing the rest tomorrow. Tomorrow is supposed to be a really beautiful day um, as well. It's supposed to be a little bit warmer tomorrow. So yeah, I think I'm going to finish the rest of the gardening um, tomorrow. I'm going to be heading into London here shortly. So the little bit of time that I do have left before I need to get ready, um, I'm going to use to fold some laundry because we have like three loads that are sitting in a basket that need to be folded and John is really good about putting loads in and moving them to the dryer and my job is to fold because <laughs> I am very particular and I like the way I fold so I'm gonna go do that and um, listen to a podcast for a bit and then get ready to head to London all right so I'm about to tackle that right there but I just realized that I hadn't really shown you guys the new couch over on Instagram and if you only follow me here on YouTube on Instagram I've been very vocal about how um, I was very much looking forward to um, rehoming our old couch, which was a very large gray sectional. And it was very beautiful. I, I've really liked it in our other homes. Um, it's John, it was John's like baby. He like loved it. But I just felt like it didn't suit this space because it is a very small lounge, as you can kind of see here. And with the way that the sectional was situated, um, the the like main part of it was facing this way, um, and the TV is there. So it was just kind of odd, and it really closed off this space. So I found this two-seater couch on Ikea, which I love. Um, they have um, like the two-seater um, plain, but then they also have a pull-out couch version, which is what we got here. Um, and then this piece is not attached to the couch as you could probably tell and i got it as just an experiment to kind of see i think it was only 79 pounds which is about 110 dollars or so it's a storage poof so you can essentially like use it like this um, so that it can kind of give you the option um or like the feel of a sectional um and the idea is that we will probably get rid of this coffee table um, and potentially use that as a coffee table. But to be really honest, I don't know that I would, having it in the space now, I'm just kind of like, oh, I don't know if that's going to work. Um, so what I'm thinking is, and the reason why I bought it was because it was such um, an affordable investment to just try 
it out in this space and just see what it looks like. Um, it, it's nice, but I feel like what we might do is get rid of both of these and get a nice tufted um, ottoman that will serve as a coffee table. And I think we found one yesterday. Um, these chairs were in our dining room, so I think what we'll do is, when this is gone, try and find some like nice vintage chairs that can sit here, kind of catty corner, bigger than these a little bit, um, and have a, a bit more of a luxe feel. Um, and then maybe like a small circular table here. We would need to get a custom radiator cover here, and I just don't think it's worth it considering the chairs will hide it for the most part, and this is a rental, so we wanna make it look and feel nice, but and not to the degree that we need to get a custom radiator cover. I wanted to share a few home decor pieces that we just got. We got this um, really beautiful ginger jar and this one up there um, to match. It's, it's the smaller one um, and I love the tones. These are like the colors that we're kind of going for, like a really pale green color as an accent with this really beautiful kind of duck egg blue and ivory. I thought this was such a beautiful frame. There is another one that complements it and that goes with it as a set, but it wasn't available in the store. So I'm gonna order it online and potentially hang them there. Um, but I do need to get some taller artwork, like one large piece of artwork here and then maybe a smaller one. And then at the place that we got this art was a really cute small lamp that I think would look really cute right here instead of these candlesticks. These were just kind of here to see what would work. And then there's this hole back here that we could um, thread the plug into. And yeah, these are some samples for um, the potential tufted ottoman and a really beautiful like lush chair that we're thinking could go here. It's gonna be quite large, so I'm a little nervous about that and the ottoman, but overall, this space is kind of somewhat coming together. I really do like the way the couch looks in this space. Need to figure out what to do up here. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Maybe a photo gallery wall or something, but I don't know how that would look with the other artwork, or I don't know. We have this radiator cover that we put that we just got from kind of like a Home Depot here in the UK. It's called B&Q. Um, so that covers the radiator cover in our entryway. And I was thinking about getting like a like a windowsill mirror kind of thing to like hang up here or a long mirror. I'm not sure. So I, I say that to kind of say that I don't know if a mirror would go here. I'm not, I'm really not quite sure. So any ideas would be very much appreciated. All right, I need to stop <laughs> lollygagging and get on with my to-do list. finish folding all that laundry because it was quite a pile. I'll finish it tonight. But yeah, quickly got myself dressed um, and I'm rushing to make the train. I think I've got five minutes. So I'm hustling through central Windsor. Taking some back roads to hopefully cut a minute or two off. Um, I cannot be late for my afternoon tea date with my friend Merritt. She lives in Dallas. And her and I have been friends through blogging for, gosh, I don't even know how long, a long time. Um, she's been blogging before even I was, back in like 2010, 2008 or so. And she also did a like short stint living in London the year before I did in 2015. So she has a 
very soft spot for London. This is her first trip back since the pandemic, so it'll be really, really nice to see her. So, anyway, let's go. All right, you guys, we made it. Got to um, Paddington Station with half an hour to kill, so it'll only take about 15 to 20 minutes to get there via black cab. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. I don't even remember the last time I saw Merritt. I'm pretty sure it was 2018 in New York City. So this should be really fun with lots to catch up on. Um, the place that we're going for afternoon tea, I've actually never been before. It's in Knightsbridge. Um, it's called the Beaumont Hotel. So I'm really excited to bring you guys along. now um john just um left to go get louis um like as i was getting um off the train so he's getting him and then when he gets back he has a call so i'm going to quickly show you what i wore to london for afternoon tea um sorry i didn't share too much from the tea but we went to this lovely hotel that i had actually never heard of before it was called the beaumont and it was in mayfair literally just tucked away on the other side across the street from Selfridges and um, really, really nice. She said she got the recommendation from a, a travel list that she saw on Vogue.com, I think she said last year. So um, yeah, Vogue did a very good job recommending um, the Beaumont as a wonderful place to do afternoon tea. Um, and I, I shared a couple of little snippets, but when I'm with people, um, even people in the industry, there's just some something about wanting to be fully present and not wanting to put like a phone or a camera in somebody's face. So didn't share too much um, of Merit, but she is lovely. I'll link her handle down below in the description box in here on the screen. Um, she runs a style, lifestyle, and travel blog. Um, she has traveled so much um, over the years. She's a really great resource. Uh, for travel. She's based in Dallas and has a lovely home and she shares home content as well. She's an adorable Frenchie um, named Reese's um, that she shares and she actually just recently launched a podcast. So definitely check Merit out. Um, and yeah, okay, let me show you my outfit because I'm pretty sure Louis and John will be home very shortly. And then I'm on mom duty while John finishes up his work day. All right, please excuse what... Um, <laughs> our room looks like at the moment. Um, it's a bit of a nightmare. Need to spend some time tomorrow getting all of this cleaned up, but this is a really cute floral dress from Faithful. The brand, really, really lovely tiered um, midi dress style and length. Um, I love these little blue flowers here on the fabric. I love that you have the option of wearing it on your shoulders if you'd like and then you still have a bit of a puff sleeve um, or you could kind of I've had them down um, throughout most of the day and I just find it to be a really flattering silhouette it has some ruching here underneath the bust which is also quite flattering as well I opted for this um, really pretty bag. I'm not really big on promoting dupes, um, so I feel a bit cringy um, sharing this, but I also realize that not everybody has the budget for <laughs> a designer handbag. Um, this is actually a bag that's no longer available, at least not that I've seen in the last like year or so. Um, so I'll link a um, an option that is, I think, under $100. I think I'm right in stating that price, um, although I, I am sorry if I'm incorrect, but it's 
much more affordable than a designer handbag and it's very similar to this. It just doesn't have this large buckle right here, um, but it's very, very cute and very similar to this style bag. And then I wore these new um, kind of like Gucci cat eye glasses. I'll put them on so you can kind of see what they look like. So yeah, this was my overall look for the day. Very comfy. Um, I've got some like Valentino Rockstead Gladiator sandals that are just as good year over year. I feel like they really do stand the test of time. So yeah, all right, I'm gonna change into some comfies now and get into more of a, a mom uniform look for the rest of the evening. Hello, hello. It is now the next day and it is a gorgeous day at that. It's the first day of summer. It's the summer solstice. So I'm just so excited. This time of year is the best in the UK. The high today is 79, maybe 80. And that is just so lovely. <laughs> Having grown up in not warm weather, but extremely hot weather just makes the the heat that you experience here so much more enjoyable <laughs> when i see that it's gonna be sunny at 80 degrees i'm like oh my god that's such a dream S such a dream um so yeah i'm really excited today's gonna be a lovely day um i want to get in the garden again um but first i just unpacked an h&m order that actually came in last week and i just haven't gotten around to unpacking it so i wanted to show you a few new pieces from H&M, I don't know if any of them are gonna be cute or anything like that, um, but actually I didn't realize that I did this, but I've got a lot of blue and white, but there is a really cute red top that I got that I'm excited to share, especially for those of you in the US. Fourth of July will be here before we know it, um, so these pieces could work really well for that Fourth of July holiday weekend. Um, I'm actually gonna be coming back to the States, I believe. That's actually on my to-do list today as well to book my flight, um, me and Louie's flight. It's just gonna be me and Louie. Um, John is celebrating his 40th birthday this year. So he and all of his guy friends from growing up, there's like 16 of them, are going to Ibiza um, for a really fun um, 40th birthday lads trip. So that will be the beginning of July. Um, so me and Louie are gonna go back to the States together um, and see family and friends and just enjoy some time. Um, there so it should be interesting because Louis is pretty active now um, I actually think that because travel is so like wide open that I'm not gonna get as lucky as I did the first two times that we came back where we were able to fly with Louis as a lap child and get a seat that was just happened to be empty but I do not think that's gonna be the case this time so I think I am gonna book him his own seat um, so I can bring his car seat along so anyways um, rambling now but I'm gonna get started um, on this little try on share a few pieces so let's let's do it all right first up we have this really pretty blue and white printed midi dress it's um, a button-up midi dress and it has a tie here at the waist runs true to size the material is really really soft it does have a a little slip lining attached on the inside that you can remove if you have your own I believe and then the sleeves are um, a little bit more voluminous, a bit puffy, um, and then the only thing that is somewhat annoying is how um, big the holes are right here. Um, kind of wish that they were a little bit more fitted, but it's all good. I really think this is a beautiful and classic silhouette and really affordable as well. I wore this on Sunday for Father's Day lunch, so everything will be linked down in the description box, but yeah, here is a better look. All right, this dress is so up my alley. I love this color blue. It's so beautiful. Um, vivid um, I feel like it's like a chambray material um, really flowy and comfortable very soft um, midi length with a nice little ruffle tier there at the bottom tie straps here uh, really really nice pretty feminine detailing and I love a smocked bust line I feel like it's really really flattering so I love this and sizing I am in an extra extra small for reference all right, next up we have another blue dress. Sorry for the lack of diversity in color with the dresses. Um, candidly, I don't know if I'll keep this one, but it would be a really great one if you're going somewhere ultra hot, like 
super humid it would be perfect because it's basically like, you know, one of those dresses that barely touches you, which I love. However, I do think I already have a dress that is essentially essentially this. It just has some tiered detailing on it and that dress, although I did just recently purchase it, I can't return it and I really like it. So I do really like this dress. It's another one that is a bit more of a chambray material um, that's a little bit lighter than that previous dress. Sorry about all the airplanes that you might be hearing. <laughs> we live literally over the incoming flight path into Heathrow because um, it's not far from here so um, you're gonna hear some planes <laughs> as I talk so sorry about that um, but yeah it has pockets it has some slits here as well um, there at the bottom honestly I really love the way it moves um, the material is really flowy really nice I'm not returning it because I don't like it I just don't feel like it makes sense to keep it when I have another similar one um, which I can actually show you so because uh, I do believe it's still available and on sale, although it's more expensive than this one. So you have your pick. Um, but anyways, this is a really pretty dress. Runs true to size, although it's, it's an oversize, like there's a lot of material to it. So just keep that in mind if you want to size down, if you don't want as much going on. There you go. Everything is linked down below. All right, and this is that dress that I told you I have that's similar to that last one. It's got ties here on both sides. Um, that are quite thin and then a little tie here with some ruffles here at the top that creates a bit of like it feels a bit like a halter neck so it's a high neck um, and maxi length with a lot of tiered detailing here along the dress and then very big and flowy lots of material it has a liner as well um, I think that the material on the H&M dress is probably a bit softer um, but this one is really, really nice. I think it would be great for like a special occasion type of dress um, during the summertime, great for a baby shower, um, things like that. So um, yeah, and the last time I looked, which was last week, I, I'm pretty sure it's on sale. It should still be on sale. So it's linked down below. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. Okay, H&M, loving what you did with this. This is a, a linen play suit or jumpsuit and I love the wide leg I love how fitted the upper portion of the jumpsuit is um, I honestly did not think this was gonna fit me like at all sometimes jumpsuits are tough especially at retailers that carry a lot of product um, where the quality you know sometimes is a big miss. Um, so I'm really actually quite impressed with this. What I would say, it's doubled up here on the top, um, which I think is intentional so that it's not quite see-through here. Um, but I kind of wish they would have doubled it down on the bottom as well because this doesn't feel super thick. Whatever they used on the under underside to layer it um, and make it look a little bit more like a little bit less see-through um, could have very well been done to the bottom to make it look a little bit less inconsistent that's my only critique it is definitely um, not see-through but linen can be a bit thin so you have to be very conscious of your undergarments and things um, so I, I think that the inconsistency in the coloring um, could have been um, done a little bit better but it's not going to keep me from keeping and wearing this jumpsuit really 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 nicely done um so yeah love love this might be my favorite so far all right this is the second to last piece i'm going to show you guys um before moving on to some other things i need to get done today but wow i am actually quite impressed with this order um I didn't think I was going to like as many things as I do, but this is a really cute square neck ruffle sleeve tank top that has a really cute little bow sleeve detail there at the back. Would be great for 4th of July if you're in the States. That weekend is coming up very soon, so definitely try to snag this really quick. I think I just need a little bit of a necklace going on here, um, but otherwise this is a really cute um, outfit. I've got some shorts on from H&M from last year. If they do have something similar, I'll link them down below. Um, but you could easily wear um, this top with skinny jeans or honestly, regular jeans, whatever it is that you're the most comfortable in. But I think um, these really nice canvas uh, shorts are quite nice. 
So yeah, that is this one. All right, we are ending this H&M try on haul with a pair of shorts that are making me laugh a little bit because they're giving me um, Ellie from Jurassic Park vibes. You know, you know what I mean? I kind of feel like I'm about to go off on like an archeological dig and like maybe dig up some dinosaur bones or something, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. I really like them actually. They're a really nice like casual short option that isn't jean shorts. I, I feel like I love jean shorts and you guys have seen me wear jean shorts for a long time if you've followed me for a long time. Um, but I feel like I've kind of gravitated more towards non-jean shorts. <laughs> shorts that aren't jeans over the last few years and I don't know if it's like a you it's a UK thing where I just kind of feel like if we are going out and the and the temperatures warrant wearing shorts or keeping cool or something I want to still feel like my look is a bit um, elevated to where it doesn't feel super super casual um, just because I feel like that's the vibe that most people or most places give off if that makes sense I, maybe this is something that I'm completely reading wrong, but it's just my perception. Um, and I think I also just feel a little bit more put together and comfortable and more like myself in shorts that aren't denim. So yeah, I really do like this option. They're really affordable and they come in multiple colors. Um, I took my normal size, so I would just go with your, I think that they run true to size and it looks really, really nice with this belt. I don't know about the... I think the color of this belt and these go quite well, but I think I'm also, I would like to invest in a like chocolate brown um, belt to kind of go along with, I feel like I've been wearing my Valentino Rock Studs um, flats quite a bit as I do every summer. They're just a really good, easy um, and comfortable walking sandal. So I think I'm going to find a belt that matches a little bit better, but Overall, I think that this is a really cute pair of shorts if you're looking for a new pair. Okay, just getting back out here, um, getting some more of the girls potted. Um, I'm a little worried about my hydrangeas um, because <laughs> they are. Sorry about that. Um, they are looking a little crazy, but I do know that hydrangeas just, <laughs> even without them being potted, just like as flowers that you have in your home. They can be a bit temperamental, so I'm thinking that this is what's going on. Um, so, as you can see, they're a little brown. They're also, like, the roots down here are, not the roots, the bottom of the stem on one side is green, and then this side is quite brown, which is kind of what they were like when I first bought them. So I'm like, I hope that that's not a bad sign. Um, if you are a pro at <laughs> potted hydrangeas, please um, send me all your tips because um, I'm about to pot her in a pot that's better for outside. Um, anyways, I just realized today, being that it's the summer solstice, it's also the first day of cancer season and I should have kind of put two and two together because I was talking earlier about how it's John's birthday in the next month um, and I just I feel like as I've gotten older I just have such an interest in astrology because I find as I've learned more about it because to be honest I've like I've delved a little bit into like learning it on a deeper level because you guys know I love self-awareness tools and that's kind of what I've kind of decided and landed on calling astrology like I feel like people think it's like a belief system like it's like a, a I mean I guess people can use it to forecast what they think could potentially happen to people but at the same time it's really just a self-awareness tool that focuses on the energy um, that we experience um, from 
you know, the celestial bodies in our like galaxy, which kind of sounds out there by saying the word galaxy, but um, but it is interesting. Like the moon has an effect on our tides, um, and we're made up of mostly water. So, I mean, it doesn't seem like an out there thought to say that the moon could potentially affect us as well. And so anyway, I just find it to be really interesting. And I think I shared on Insta stories that I got a birth chart reading when I was pregnant with Louis, and it was so interesting. Like I'm a Pisces, like my sun sign is Pisces. Um, but actually like my moon sign and my rising sign, which governs your emotions and kind of how you present a base, like on first impressions. Um, and mine are, my moon and rising is Virgo. And Virgo, like when I look at the, um, characteristics of a Virgo I'm like yeah I can definitely um, uh, identify with some of those it's like meticulous procrastinating perfectionist like likes things to be just so like likes things to be in their place like can kind of be somewhat nitpicky <laughs> um, but I am very much a Pisces as well like I'm kind of emotional like it's really easy to put myself in other people's shoes can be somewhat sensitive I am quite intuitive um, and I kind of like to go with the flow I don't really like to be kind of told like you have to do this this etc etc um, and it's actually interesting Pisces and Virgo are literally the the opposite signs from each other so they're polar opposites but um, they do complement each other quite well so anyway I find it to be really interesting John is a cancer but I wouldn't say that like you would be able to tell that just based on meeting him like you his moon and rising are actually a leo me and john's moon and rising is, is the same sign like mine's virgo his is leo um but your moon could be cancer and your rising could be sagittarius so anyway <laughs> i didn't mean to really come on here and talk about this but i do just find it to be so interesting like those are like the top three like signs um like when you're looking at your astrological like birth chart, um, it gives you those three. Actually, only it only gives you your rising if you know exactly what time you were born. Um, but it's quite interesting. You should check it out if you haven't ever, um, because I feel like it really does kind of give you some insight into how you are and like how you operate. I feel like. <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> I feel like it definitely kind of gives you insight into maybe some of your quirks, how you process and deal with your emotions, um, especially if you don't really identify with your sun sign. Like I have a friend who is a Sagittarius and she is just not, a, she just is not the stereotypical Sagittarius. And I actually told her, she's one of my really good friends from back home. I was like, I really want to look up your birth chart next time I see you, which will hopefully be when I'm home. Um, and she's like, yes, let's do it. I love that stuff. Um, and I would be so interested to see if she has like a lot of Capricorn or something in her chart. So anyway, you'll have to let me know what your um, sun, moon, and rising sign are down below. I literally geek out over this stuff. So you'll have to let me know if you feel like those definitely resonate with you. All right enough chat about that <laughs> random thoughts that go through my head while I'm outside um but yeah I am getting some things done out here and then back to the computer work I go. addition to this little area. I love this little gorgeous plant called um, snow blizzard um, and I just thought that they were so beautiful. Similar to baby's breath, just really delicate and adds like a little pop of white. Obviously have lots of bluish, well lots of purple with like cooler undertones um, that in some 
really kind of are almost like a bluish purple so anyway um, I thought a little pop of white here and there would be lovely um, not quite sure if the little hanging basket kind of goes with the grayish tone same with the white I got that from the white company actually and I think it's really lovely um, but then when I think about the gray undertones I'm like oh I don't know if um, they really suit the the vibe that I was going for but maybe I'm thinking too much into it <laughs> um, that is what it looks like now I don't think anybody cares that much but when I was sharing um, some gardening things on Instagram just kind of sharing that I was making like a of like a hanging basket. I had somebody that was like, wear gloves, you won't get your manicure all messed up. And I was like, mm, I'm not really worried about getting it messed up for one, but two, I do have some. <laughs> they're really cute and they're pink. But yeah, I don't mind getting my hands dirty. I feel like, I don't know, it's good to get out and get dirty in nature. But um, for those who might be interested, um, I have these gardening gloves that are really, really cute. Um, and then I have this pink pair of um, scissors for um, deadheading and pruning so I'll link those down below oh you guys I just got a delivery and it's one of Louie's little additions to our garden we're gonna put this little double showers splash water table so cute over there for him and then I also got like a little bubble machine um, that we can kind of sit out on here to kind of blow bubbles around because he loves bubbles <laughs> so yeah oh I'm so excited that that came in it'll be so fun to see him light up over I just went to go upload all of these <laughs> slides for this vlog um, into Google um, into my Google Drive for my video editor and I just realized I could not find either of the little connector connect adapters or whatever they're called to read my SD card to transmit everything <laughs> to the computer this vlog hopefully will still go live on Thursday but it just depends on how busy she is um, I have to wait until the one I just ordered to be delivered God, don't you hate it when those things happen so annoying anyway I changed clothes because um, I want to curl up in a chair out here and um, get a few like annoying pesky things done that I probably should have done like first thing this morning when I had like the most energy. Um, but I made myself a bit of a coffee because I can seriously, one of my superpowers is that I can drink coffee no matter the time of day and still go to sleep. I never have a problem sleeping. Um, and if you struggle with insomnia, I'm really, really sorry. I know you probably hate me right now. Um, but anyways, set up this umbrella. Need to have John teach me how to use that thing because I really want to spray down <laughs> this area so it doesn't smell. But anyways, I'm gonna sit out here and get a few things done before I have to go get little Louie. Um, and then I think I'm gonna bid you farewell. Um, I think I'm gonna start a new vlog up tomorrow because I'm pretty sure this vlog is probably a lot longer than um, I anticipated it being. Um, although, maybe not, but anyways. I would love to know in the comments below as well. I feel like I've been asking you guys to comment below and speak to me. I love connecting with you guys, whether it's on Instagram or the vlog, um, but also here on YouTube. I want to get to know those of you who tune in and want to follow along. I appreciate it so much. Um, but yeah, leave a comment below and let me know um, like what your preferred length vlog would be. I don't mind watching longer ones so that I feel like I don't mind making mine longer. Um, but then again, I work from home and I don't mind like putting it on while I'm getting ready and like putting away clothes, but not everybody's like that. So let me know what you think in the comments below.